Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go in and get it done so you can watch all my awesome videos. Now, I'm actually going to start bolting parts on this car. I know, it's crazy. I'm not going to pull any more other parts apart to rebuild them or anything. The subframe is going to go in. Now, GK Tech have got a video on this already, but it's not going to stop me from making one because I can. I'm using their poly subframe bushes. They have to fit in the way around because they're offset. I'm pretty sure they're just offset towards the middle, but I'll cover that in a minute. And then, to get all the roll centre correction, I have to put some dents in there and somewhere around here, apparently. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Of course, I'm going to do it with the car upside down because I don't say that very often. So I've already painted up the old brackets and washers that hold it in. GK Tech recommend using these stock brackets. I imagine that's so the subframe doesn't fall out and cause doom. The next step is to insert the bushes. I'm just going to insert the bottom ones to start with and I'm going to push the other ones in from the top and, and do it that way because I think it's going to be easier. Now there's a dot there that indicates where the offset's got to be. That dot basically has to face outwards on all of these. Now they say to mark it on the website but I don't think it's really necessary. I'm just going to sit them in there then use a straight edge. Okay, looks pretty good to me. In they go. Last pair. In we go. Now because there's a little lube in there, they move pretty easily. A bit of misalignment shouldn't matter. It'll be a completely different story with the alloy bushes because they have been pressed in quite hard. Right, so here's my coming plan. Use the engine frame, lift the subframe into place on its side. Not upside down, but it's going to be easy enough. First up, I'm just going to grease and stick the bushes onto the their bosses on the car. You can see here that it's hitting just as they said it would on the GK Tech videos. Looks like it's going to go close down in there too, but the first obvious place it's hitting is in there. So I'm going to pull that back out and have a massage. These parts, it's hitting now that I've got a bit more clearance down here. Right, so I do have to come back through for one more hammer time session. A couple of places it was hitting. I didn't think it was actually hitting. But it's off now. I'll give another bit of persuasion. Okay, so it's fitting in there pretty well now. These are the factory washer bracket pieces off the S13. I'm going to try and install them. I mean, there will be a little bit of spacing underneath, but there's way too much gap down in there because it's failing right there. So there's going to have to be some more notching or hammer massaging go on, unfortunately. I could notch out the the brackets themselves, but it'll leave a hole in there and it's just going to be easier to remove it from the subframe. I don't think it's going to cause any structural any structural problems, so I'll do that with a power for. You can see where I took the scallop out that used to be just flat in there. 
Try to take it the smallest amount I possibly could, and now that fits in there really well. And there it is, second side scalloped out. Again, took the minimum amount I could. Bracket goes on there perfectly. So now all I've got to do is finish putting the bolts back on and torque it up. Then probably talk a little bit more about it. Alright, it's done. Finally put the first part back in the shell. Didn't really think it was ever going to happen for quite a few years there, but in it is. Um, so that's the R33 or S14 style subframe in your S13 chassis. Had to use offset bushes to make that work. Because I used the poly bushes, they actually swiveled around a little bit with the grease and I sort of played around with it as I pulled it into place and that seemed to help a lot. I don't know if it would be quite as easy with the alloy, alloy subframe bushes, but been told they're also extremely noisy in the cabin too, so the poly's probably the way to go. Because I used the factory washers, I didn't have to use these little Pac-Man washers that came with the GK set kit. I think they're mostly there so that you can pack the subframe down so that it doesn't hit on the car and you don't have to do that hammer massage that I, that I did. I had to notch a little bit out for these brackets to go on. I'm not sure if that's because they've been bent. There's been quite a bit of impact on these areas from previous drifting expeditions. But anyway, I just notched that out and they fitted. So there it is. I hope that helps someone out. Do the usual with the like and subscribe button, please.